Today, Fender's Acoustasonic Telecaster. Hey, James Shee here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us at tarpleymusic.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done already. So today we're talking about the Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster. It's pretty much a Telecaster after a few burgers. No, seriously, it's a completely hollow body. The whole point of this design was to make an electric feeling guitar that can simulate a lot of different acoustic tones. And so when they went in to start making this, they got in with Fishman once they figured out the body style and they were able to do just that. So there's actually three pickups. You can only see the, the one here. So this is their N4 pickup here. There's an under the saddle piezo, right? And then there's the body sensor as well to really get those acoustic sounds there. And there's a five-way switch that's gonna go between all those, which we'll do a demo of all those so you can hear them. So it's a spruce top, which is great for acoustics, right? Mahogany body, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge, very durable. And so you have your overall volume switch and then there's a blender switch. So each position has an extreme A side and a B side. So you can go all the one to one side or the other side or blend between those two. So just right off the bat without touching any sort of EQ or pedals or anything, you've got 10 combinations in the blending of those. It's just a really cool, versatile instrument. There's a lot of things that it can do. Plays very well. It's a C-neck, just very comfortable from an electric standpoint. So a lot of electric guitar guys who occasionally need to have acoustic tones really love this because um, it kind of feels uh, at home for them. So we're going to get right down to it. We're going to do a demo of a lot of different tones coming out of this thing, both electric and acoustic, and we will mic it up as well so you can hear that. So how we have the guitar going in is going into a DI, straight into an interface, into Studio One. We're actually going to start on position five, which is the switch closest to the neck. And if you remember, we have A is counterclockwise and B is going to be clockwise. And then you can blend between those also. So all the way A, this is like a Sitka Spruce Rosewood Dreadnought. So real traditional acoustic, full strumming kind of sound. Very universal, good for all things. So if we go all the way over to B now, this is like an Alpine Spruce Rosewood, uh, like an auditorium style body. So it's a little bit better for, uh, uh, you know, still some strumming, but finger style or maybe even like guitar picking, a little bit like that. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit more detailed mid-range. So now we're moving to position four. We're going all the way to A. So this is like an Engelman spruce um, maple, like a small body, almost like a parlor kind of guitar. Uh, for Great for like real delicate playing. Very articulate, you can really hear every string. Speaking on it, so we go from the B, this is like a Sidka Spruce Mahogany Dreadnought. So now we're a full mid-range strumming. So moving on to position three, which is right in the middle, we are over on the A side, which is going to kind of replicate a Sitka Spruce uh, Brazilian road, Rosewood Dreadnought, so it's going to be a real earthy kind of rich sound. What's cool is, is when we roll over the B, it actually adds the body pickup and uh, it's a percussiveness to it, but it really enhances harmonics. Can you hear them really 
really pop out. It's great. So moving on to position two. This is uh, all the way on the A side is like a Sitka Spruce Mahogany Dreadnought. So just a good full strumming guitar. <laughs> Now when I take the B, it's actually blending in the electric pickup. So if you want to give a little bit of drive into a band, uh, but still kind of playing an acoustic part, you can really hear. Very punchy, right? So now we're all the way to position one, which is our pickup right here. We're going through a uh, Boss Blues Driver, the BD-2W, right into the Deluxe Reverb Tone Master Fender amp, right out into the interface into Studio One. So that is the full here. So we've got position one, and the side A is basically just a clean Fender Electric. to B, we're getting kind of a fat, like a semi-clean uh, pickup sound. So now we're going back to side A, and we're going to put in just a little bit of dirt with the blue driver. Blending into B. So let's not forget that it is an acoustic bass guitar with a hollow body meant for acoustic sound. So you can very well just mic it also. Uh, this is a Sennheiser E906, which is a you know good dynamic microphone. You probably use a large diaphragm condenser also, I mean, combination of mics, but just to give you an idea what it sounds like just mic'd. So now I want to give an example of what it sounds like in a recording. So I've actually got it in position one with the electric guitar sound. I'm going to play along with some backing tracks I did earlier. So overall, the Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster is is very versatile. It's fun to play. I play as much electric gigs as, as I do acoustic gigs, and I, I do feel like I'm definitely playing an electric guitar with the C-neck and the way it feels. But, I mean, you heard how many acoustic tones I can get out of this. And once again, with hybrids, if I'm the only guy in a trio or solo or something and I need to do a quick, cool lead, but I need more of electric sound, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just uh, flipping a switch to get there. And it's just really cool, and I really think that's the market for this. Um, it, it just feels so great. It's so light, a three or four hour gig, no problem holding this. So 
Um, especially, and there's get a lot of people that are playing that have bad backs or if they have to stand up for a long time or whatever it is. Um, the thin body, it's really, you can get it really close to you. So, I mean, there's just, there's a lot of good things going on here. It's definitely fun to play. They actually have several colors. Um, I believe that there's a red, black, and then there's a natural as well as, as this burst. So some really cool color options. But anyway, definitely worth checking out. Head down to Tarpley, play one, plug it in, play it acoustically, get a feel for it. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you'd like to know as more videos drop, just turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next one.